morning, GMS. I'm Eliza. And I'm Addie. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 7th, 2022. Students, there are going to be yearbooks available to buy soon, so make sure to check out the GMS homepage and stay tuned for more info about yearbooks. Students, please make sure you're picking up your trash in the cafeteria. It's very helpful to our custodial staff and helps keep, and helps keep the place looking nice. Alice frozen yogurt would be available to buy you soon for $5 in the cafeteria on Tuesday in the Commons. Thanks. Thanksgiving break is taking place November 21st through November 25th, so take care of your schoolwork and get your stretchy pants ready. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in the GMS sports. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to have fun. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Lucy Rowland, and I'm here with Study Hall Supervisor Ms. Craig. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit, bit about yourself? Um, well, I have been doing study hall since February, so not very long. I have been married 24 years, have five kids, ages 8 all the way to 21. That, that tells you pretty much everything. If you are not working in the school, where else would you like to work? Um, maybe somewhere like with flowers and gardens and stuff like that, outdoors. That's fun. Mm -hmm. If you were to go to any concert, whose concert would you be at and why? I would go to an Avett Brothers concert because they are my favorite band. Yeah, I like them too. What do you like most about being a study hall supervisor? Hmm, I like being next door to Mrs. Ellington and the IMC. Share one interesting fact about yourself that people may not know. Um, all, almost all of my kids, four of my five kids are taller than me. I'm pretty short. Thank you for coming to on our show, Miss Craig. Have a great week. Thank you very much. This is Greenwood Sports. I'm Caleb. And I'm Vaughn. Tuesday, November 8th, 7th grade boys basketball versus John Wooden starting at 5.30 at home. Thursday, no Thursday, November 10th, 7th grade boys basketball versus Shelbyville starting at 5.30 p.m. at home. That's all for sports. Bye, GMS. and welcome to another episode of Greenwood Reads. You're here in Teen HQ with me, Miss Jessica. And today I've got four new books for you. Um, the first one I have is The Canyon's Edge by Dusty Bowling. It's a great name, Dusty Bowling. Um, and this book is, it's kind of a sad one, but I think it will end pretty well. It's a year after um, her mother is killed in a restaurant shooting, Nora um, and her dad, decide to go on this adventure in the desert um, and it doesn't go so great. <laughs> Nora gets trapped in a canyon and so she and her dad are both struggling um, in the ways to survive but also in dealing with their grief. Um, so this one sounds really good. The next book I have for you today is called The Drowned Woods. Um, it is Emily Lloyd-Jones' newest story. Um, and this one is about a girl named Mare. Um, she is the last living water diviner. That's what they call her. Basically, she can control water. Um, but she is the property of the prince. And she doesn't want to be anymore. And she and her old boss work together um, to try to take down the kingdom. So this one's a dark fantasy with lots of action to it. Definitely check it out. The third one I've got for you today is called Our Shadows Have Claws. It's 15 short stories featuring the monsters of Latin myths and legends. Um, a bunch of YA authors have worked together to put this set of stories together for you. And you should definitely check this crazy creepiness out. 
And the last book I have for you today is a nonfiction book. It is a Japanese dictionary, um, but it has lots of really cool pictures along with it. There's over 1,500 words, things about asking directions, learning, um, counting words, figuring out how to travel. Um, and if you ever were to take the advanced Japanese placement, it's got all of the words in here that you would need to learn. Next program I've got for you is all about our college planning. We have Erin Donovan coming in to tell you all about how to get ready for college, all about applications and scholarships and making things just a little bit easier for you. Um, so that one is going to be on November the 10th at 6.30 p.m. Yes, 6.30 p.m. Next, I've got an all-ages program for you that's going to be super exciting. It's our culture and community celebration. It's going to be here in our community rooms, and we are going to celebrate all of our culture around Greenwood um, with lots of fun activities, including some snacks. And then the last program I wanted to tell you about is our newest interactive movie that's coming up in November on November the 18th. We'll be meeting in the teen area to watch the movie Adam's Family Values and to enjoy that and be interactive and have a lot of fun. And of course, you will get some goodies to go along with it. And that's all I've got for you today. Um, but remember that we have video games every Tuesday. We've got movies every Thursday. And we've got lots of fun here in Team HQ for you. Bye. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Courtney. And I'm Nolan. Let's get started. A kid in South Dakota named Tyreek, a seven-year-old boy, is now the official corn ambassador of South Dakota after going viral on TikTok for an interview that someone turned into the corn song. Number two, teen hero dives into bay and saves drowning girl. 18-year-old Mia stepped on the accelerator instead of the brake in her Subaru and the car went right into the water. As others were in shock, her classmate Anthony Zongor dived into the water to save her. Anthony said she went down pretty deep and the door wasn't opening either, but, when, but he notes that his weight on the car had opened the door and Mia got out of the car and back onto the dock safe and sound. I'm Courtney. And I'm Nolan and this is Top Trending. Hi and welcome back to DMS Roll Call. Today's question is, what's your favorite song and who sings it? Andrew Tate's theme song. Okay, um, I think Poland by Lil Yachty. Definitely the Gummy Bear song. EXO Genesis by The Fat Rat. I don't know who sings it, but the Barney theme song is literally the best. Let it go. Um, I'm going to have to say Poland by Lil Yachty. It's pretty good. Poland by Lil Yachty. My favorite song is um, Nobody by Mitski. My favorite song is Purple Rain, Purple Rain by Prince.